right around June 27th, my wife and everything wanted me to cut some some trees down and stuff, so I cut the trees down. And as I was cutting the trees down, I didn't really feel comfortable because the wind was so so strong that day. So she went to go throw gasoline on the brush and everything. And then she threw the gasoline on the brush. I was lighting the fire. Well, as I lit, the wind, the wind caught. And as the wind caught, it created a big flame and it was going towards her. Well, I threw her and my grandbabies out of the way. And I jumped in front of it to protect them. And I ended up falling, falling out on the ground and they ended up getting me on the stretcher get me in and I woke back up and they told me that everything was going to be all right, you know, and I told them, you know, I, it wasn't even really about me. It was about making sure they was okay. That's when they got me in the ambulance, you know, hooked me up and everything, kept hitting me with the morphine. The morphine, my adrenaline was so high, the morphine couldn't keep me, couldn't keep me down because I was just worried about my family. They had told me I had been badly burned all over my body. Well, I come to find out that after they got me here to the hospital, they was immediately had me into surgery, had to breathe me and, and everything. And uh, they had told my family, based with my age and the fatality rate, that I wasn't gonna make it. I ended up being intubated for like eight days and everything, mainly fighting for my life. They said they started, my kidney started coming up and coming up and everything, just my whole body was, was, I was getting stronger, even though I was intubated. The people that I met here at this hospital, I became great friends with because they pushed me every day because I was depressed. I had never been hurt a day in my life. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to do the physical therapy. All I want to do is be left alone at that time. But I knew I had to fight. And so I started doing my physical therapy. I started getting up. I had to learn to walk again. I couldn't walk. All my muscles from my right had been deteriorated because of the fire. Because I had third and fourth degree burns. And they had to take my skin all the way down to the, to the white, almost nothing. And I was born, burnt over 50% of my body. Not only is my arm, they have to say, my whole chest was burnt. My whole leg down here was burnt. They had to take grafts off of my leg, my back, wherever they could to try to save my life, to, to, to put this skin on me. And they did. We all want to do things when we want to do it. We want to do it how we want to do it. But sometimes it's not about how we want to do it or when we want to do it. It's about finding the right time to do it and taking the time to make sure you don't jeopardize other people in yourself and just be careful when you're out there. Make sure you got the, the, the proper gear to do everything that you need to do when it comes if you go burn a fire because I didn't have the proper gear at that time. I wasn't doing it the proper way. I did it the wrong way and it could have very seldom took my life but it didn't. It's about safety.